Finally, a video explaining what jacquard fabrics are and how they are manufactured. Like me, you will surely have jacquard fabrics, which I would eat jacquard, not jacquard. French people are very sensitive regarding pronunciation. Anyway, you will surely have jacquard fabrics in your house. Jacquard fabrics are recognizable because they have drawings on the surface. These drawings are not printed, they are made with interlacing of the warp and the weft. But Alberto, also conventional looms can create drawings on the fabrics. Yes, of course, I know, but with Jacquard you will find real drawings. Not this one, practically. With real drawings, I mean, for example, flowers, logos, images, pictures, and so on. You cannot make real drawings with conventional looms. They are called Jacquard due to the inventor called Joseph Marie Jacquard, who patented this specific type of loom back in the early 19th century. Jacquard is the name of the loom, but today Jacquard is also used for knitted fabrics, so for drawings on knitted fabrics. If you have a jersey or a sweatshirt with a drawing made with the interlacing of the yarns, so it's not printed, it's still called Jacquard, even though Mr. Jacquard invented just the loom. And even though we all know that this loom can manufacture only woven fabrics, not knitted ones. I know we're going too fast, let's step up, step back and let's see how Jacquard looms work. Jacquard looms are those looms that can create drawings on the fabrics. As seen in the previous video, a conventional loom has harnesses and frames with handles in which the warp yarns pass through. With the frames going up and down, the warp yarns are pushed up and down while the weft is inserted. In Jacquard looms, we don't have frames, we have warp yarns which are lifted or pushed down by the hooks, one by one. No frames, but thousands and thousands of hooks. If we make a canvas, two shafts work like this. The first lifts the odd number and the second shafts lift the even numbers while the weft is inserted. In Jacquard, the hooks rise the handles with the warp to create the shed, the temporary space between the upper warp and the upper weft. Each hook head controls at least one or more warp and you have more or less one hook for each warp yarn, each of them. Back in the days, Jacquard looms used to use punch the cards for the drawings as an old fashioned piano roll. Can you even imagine it? So instead of the frame, Jacquard looms basically control each warp yarn each one. And nowadays there are Jacquard looms that can reach 64,000 hooks. Unbelievable if you think about it. In fact, nowadays Jacquard fabrics seems printed fabrics. You have to go very close to the fabric to see that there is no printing, it's all yarns. Last two important things about Jacquard looms. Jacquard looms can actually create plain weave, twill and satin if calibrated to do so. And the second thing, Jacquard looms cost a lot, a lot of money and time. I mean, can you even realize how much does it cost to change the drawing and calibrate other 30,000 or 40,000 hooks? That's it for today guys, I hope you have enjoyed the content of this video, you will find my details below along with my email, reddit and so on. If you need any textile consultancy, I am a disposable naturally and yeah, as usual, stay safe, take care, I'll see you guys in the next video.